What do you see as the future for astronomy in Australia? Well, it's got a very healthy future. Um, when I, when, before I came to Australia in 1975, this was, Australia was already firmly on the astronomical map, uh, partly because it was under the southern skies. Most observatories then were in the northern hemisphere, but also because there was a very good depth of, uh, of um, uh, academic astronomy going on in Australia at the time. The Anglo-Australian Telescope, uh, which is the biggest telescope operating in the southern hemisphere when it was built in the 1970s, changed all that in, in that it made Australia a much more suitable place, a much more attractive place to do astronomy, and many more astronomers uh, came here. They were backed, of course, by the Parkes Radio Telescope that had been here since the 1960s, still, even now, a, a very powerful research instrument. But the next big thing uh, in Australia is the Square Kilometre Array. It's a radio telescope that has a collecting area of a square kilometre, absolutely huge, but it uses uh, uh, very novel, in fact, still to be invented, techniques for observing all the sky at the same time and at different wavelengths without any moving parts. So it's going to be a very fancy device. It's going to cost a lot of money to make, and it's going to be an absolutely world-class telescope. You'll hear much more about this next year, in 2009, when we'll be talking about the square kilometre array almost everywhere we go because it is so exciting.